Hi, I'm Phil Webb, Principal Consultant with Select Business Solutions. In this module, we'll work through the creation of a set of models using business and object modelling techniques for a fictional business problem. This sort of worked example is often called a case study. In the first session, we'll look at the background of the business and the problem to be solved. Our example business is the Proteus Discount Warehouse, a no-frills business that sells well-known brand goods at competitive prices in downtown and edge-of-town stores using an in-store catalogue and through its internet website store. In the following sessions, we'll look at, a develop at developing a solution to Proteus's business problems. First, identifying and analysing those problems using the Object Management Group's Business Motivation Model, BMM, and looking at its as-is and to-be business process models using the Business Process Modelling Notation, or BPMN. Then, after describing the non-functional system requirements, we'll look to analyse the problem and develop an object-oriented solution using the Unified Modelling Language, or UML. The functional requirements and system interactions will be described using a use case model. And then we'll look at the static architecture using class modelling. We'll follow, follow this by developing the interaction model to connect the class and use case models using sequence diagrams. State and activity modelling will be used to develop the behavioural model. Using the static architecture, we'll then develop an information architecture and a logical data model. And using object relational mapping techniques, we'll develop a physical data model. Quality assurance of our models is essential, so we'll review them using both automated and manual checks and make corrections to our models where required. Communicating our models to others is also important, so we'll prepare documentation from our models to share with the project stakeholders. This documentation will be in the form of Microsoft Word documents and in HTML reports, viewable using any web browser. Throughout this case study, we'll use Select Architects to capture the diagrams and help us with the analysis. There are other tools in Select Solution Factory to help develop an implementation of the system, but these are outside the scope of this case study. So let's move on now to introduce the Proteus Discount Warehouse business.